Oh, it's gonna break my hand. All right, so this is cat, the cat lady. I read that it was really f uh, fucked up. Like, really fucked up. Please don't watch this if you can't handle fucked up things. That's all I gotta say on it. Uh, I'm gonna put on a jacket because I'm fucking cold. Alright, well, I don't know how long this game is. Or if this will all fit in one video, I'm just gonna play it till I get bored, and we'll see. My name is Susan Ashworth. Alright. I live alone in this old two-bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Some would say it's a lonely life, and I guess that's true, but I don't like people's company. Not lately, anyway. I only trust my cats these days, and I will miss them dearly. But they will understand, like they always have. Teacup stays with me till the end. He watches me, as if he knew. Because earlier tonight, I swallowed a whole bunch of pills. They're legal, of course. Prescribed by my doctor for my sleeping problems. But I've taken 34 of them. All I could find in the cupboard. And now the room around me spins in a blurry tango as my heart slows down. All right. Any second now, I will be dead. I feel calm. I'm ready for it. I've only got one thing to say now. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. Okay. All right, well that, that was something. Sorry, I'm not, I'm still processing what the hell is happening. Can I, can I sprint? She's not in a hurry. Enter to confirm. Why can't it be space or something? Because now I gotta... It's locked. Okay, well, it didn't matter. I feel strange, strangely drawn to this place. I must find a way to unlock this padlock and get inside. Alright. Let's keep going, then. <laughs> Actually, spooked me a bit. Okay. I can't go any further. This ambulance is blocking access to the tunnel exit. Let's see what's inside. Shocker! So, what now? Yeah, I, I got that. Thank you. The hell do I do then? Because... What's making that noise? No, let's not walk towards Hello? it. Who's there? Answer me. Alright, we're going that way then. Oh, that's me. Okay. It's me, my cold dead body right in front of my eyes. What is it doing here? What is it? What? now and then still shine a little is that a key in her mouth in my mouth I, 
uh, I'll better take it with me. Okay. It's a key um, to the house, I guess. We're going back now. Man, from what I read, I expected some fucked up shit in this game. So far, it's not. Okay. Oh, I'm alive. Where am I? I'm not really sure. Oh, a deer. Bye. Too long a sacrifice can make a stone of the heart. Would it take another sacrifice to turn it back? Maybe I'm being silly. This is just some old machine after all. How strange. There doesn't seem to be a single switch or button on this machine. How do I turn it on? Was that everything? Okay. I'm going to go look at the deer then. Come here. Don't run away. Come here. Oh. oh fuck. My dead body hanging from a tree. I should be scared, but I just feel empty. Wait, what's that shiny thing around her neck? Is that a key? The body is too high. I can't reach. It would take me hours to undo this knot. But you better get undoing then. Right, maybe there's a something I can cut this with in here. The door seems bolted from the other side. Great. So I can't do anything here then. I need something to cut that. I can't remember rope. this place. Am I lost? Okay. Pretty sure this isn't where I was earlier. What a gruesome display. At least it's not my head stuck on the bars. Don't say that, then it will be. It's locked. It's. Alright, well, I can't do anything if it's locked. Going back again, I guess. Why are you flying around so much? Damn. Oh. Is that the deer I saw earlier? There we go. Alright. Now I have a key, but to what? Because I don't remember. What I needed a key for. I forgot. Alright. Let's proceed. Oh. Welcome to my house, Susan Ashford. Oh, God, no. I have been waiting for you, my dear. I knew you would turn up one fine day, Lexus. Who. who are you? I have so many names, it's hard to pick one. But, I'm curious, who do you think I am? Death? Oh, that's what I was thinking, that's the first option, that's so funny. Death? Interesting. Yes, perhaps that's what I am. I come when there's something to take, but I never give anything back. I am doom, but I'm salvation, too. I'm feared by most, but adored by some also. Some like yourself, Susan. Don't flatter yourself, old lady. I don't even know you. Well, that's not quite right. I've been around for a while. 
Keeping you company. Always there, you know? Always there. So I was wrong. You're not deaf? No, I am not. Perhaps I am life. But then again, does it really matter? What is this place? This, my dear, is my humble kingdom. And this house is my castle. I rarely invite people in, just like you. I like my solitude. But you are a special guest. And I'm going to make an exception. Me? Special? I can tell you now that there's nothing special about me, lady. Don't bring yourself down, Susan Ashworth. Today, you are my guest of honor. What will happen next? What will happen next? Depends on you, Susan. Inside my house, there are dark hallways that lead to places you don't want to see. But there is also something that will make you want to return to where you came from and cherish every single little breath you take. I'm going to make you an offer, Susan. It's a chance only a fool would refuse. Okay. An offer? What can you offer me? Let's come inside. It's getting cold out here. Please don't touch anything, dear. Sorry, it is, it is bugging you. You lied to the whole world, Susan. And you lie to yourself. Wait, so are you me or something? Is that what that means? Is she really here? Maybe this is all a dream after all. Now we can talk properly, my dear. Still don't really know who you are. Will I be punished for <clears throat> taking my own life? Most people would be, but not you, Susan. You see, I watched you long enough to understand how you feel. I don't expect you to believe me, but I actually have sympathy for you. Who knows, I could be your only friend. The only friend in the whole wide world. So like I said, I'm going to make you an offer. I want to help you. I will give you back your happiness in exchange for a simple task. Your life will change completely. You will be yourself again. And you will soon forget the sadness that has consumed your heart for years. What do you want me to do? Yes, I think it's time to explain. But where are my manners? We're still in the hall. This is not a place for a serious talk. Follow me to the next room. I'll tell you everything Can't you, just you need to know. Stop making me follow you places to get words out of you, woman. Just tell me. What's your offer then? What can you fix that life has destroyed? Susan, death can fix... Did her arms just get longer? We are both dead. I am not dead. I might seem just like a strange old woman to you, but I'm just as powerful as gods. And I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I'll need you to go back and face five people. They're not ordinary people. They're very special, just like you, only in a slightly different way. Did her arms get longer? Those five people, who are they? The parasites. That's what I call them. They don't know each other, but their destinies are bound together. 
You will have to keep your eyes open and be constantly on guard. Those people will want to get closer to you. They might even pretend they are your friends, but don't let that fool you. They have nothing but cruel intentions. They'll want to hurt you, Susan. They'll want to kill you. As harmless as they might appear, parasites are the evil scum of the earth, and they all deserve to die. Isn't my life bad enough without them? Don't be frightened. You will have a great advantage over them. They don't know that you know. Do you understand what it means? You will become my hunter, serving punishment for their sins. A tool of destruction. Not what I expected at all. A dark angel walking through the river of blood. You find your purpose in life and you see for the first time how satisfying it can be. But how will I recognize them? There isn't a great deal of people in your lonely life, is there, Susan? You will know when you see them. Bring those deceitful bastards in front of me, and we'll make them regret for everything they've done. Are you expecting me to kill them? No, Susan, I'm expecting you to fight for survival. To do everything you can to defend yourself. I know you're not a murderer. Quite the opposite, actually. You're a good person. And I also know that you don't want to suffer. And those people will want to cause you pain. They won't hesitate. In the end, you might have no choice. Think of it as gardening. If there were weeds among the flowers, you'd pull them out, wouldn't you? You'd get rid of them without thinking twice about it. I'm not really a gardening type, but I see your point. I'm glad. And remember this, you are not the only victim. If you don't stop them, the killing will continue. Innocent people will die. You have the opportunity to make the difference. And a chance to save yourself. What makes you think I won't go what back? What makes you think I want to go back? Want to go back. I can't read. I finally did it. I killed myself. That's all I ever wanted. And yet, it turns out to be just another failure. I want this suffering to stop. Dear, dear Susan, you don't realize that the suffering never stops, do you? It only gets worse. This place is a passage between the world of the living and the world of the dead. You enter one of these corridors and you never come back. But you don't cease to exist. You remain. Uh. I can't do this. It's too much. Dealing with criminals is a job for the police, not someone like me. Indeed, you are weak. That's not what I said. That's why I have prepared a special gift for you. Immortality. You cannot die, Susan. Okay. You will always return to life no matter what happens to you. What? This is the last thing I wanted. Please, can't you just let me die? I've made the decision. As long as they are alive, you cannot die. I don't believe you. This all must be just a weird dream. I don't believe you. Susan, see this door here? I had to solve inside. I want to show you something that will help you make up your mind. Follow me. Yes, it's 
Excuse me. Bitch, you threatening me? Come close. Say hello. I don't want to look at it. Haven't I had enough yet? That body in the ambulance. Then the forest. But this place is... This is exactly what I was trying to run away from. I don't want to be here. Make it go away. I assumed it would be wise to give you a little taste of the suffering you would endure. I want you to understand that you can keep going long after you come. Give me that crowbar. Fuck you. I'm gonna hit her with it. Come here, bitch. Ah, oh, I can't. Can't do anything. Crucified all alone in one place. That's changed all my life. I really don't want to be here. Susan, it's time to make a decision. Ah. The parasites are coming, whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. You must stand up for yourself. I'll, I'll kill some bitches. Yeah. Fine. I'll do what you want. Excellent. I'm glad you have put your trust in me. I... I haven't really got anyone else. You shall not regret this, my dear. Lights up. That was bad fucking ass. Just that scene there with the music, everything, that was just amazing. We're back in the house. We're back in the house? Yes, but there is something else that must be done. You cannot leave my kingdom before a sacrifice is made. What? Isn't it enough already? Do not worry, my child. This is a mere formality I'm speaking of. The door to your world won't open unless you make a sacrifice of soul and You're my a sacrifice soul? of blood. It doesn't sound good at all. See those candles here? Just blow one out and that's it. Like I said, it's just a formality. Then on your way out, you will have to shed a few drops of blood. Not much, just a bit. Enough to open the door. How much, exactly? Cut off a finger. Don't be afraid. It's easy. Anyone can do it. Just a sharp scratch. Is that how you used to say it? Tell me about the sacrifice of soul. Like I said, it's just a formality. See those candles here? Just blow one out, and that's it. But which one? You can choose. It doesn't matter as long as you do it. What does it mean to blow out the thing, though? Fine. I'll do that. Wish me luck, strange lady. I do. When you leave my house, head to the field. That's where you should be. Goodbye, my child. I'm not going to be far. I've never been. What is this crowbar for? How long? Uh, what do I do with it? <laughs> oh, shit. They left me no choice, Alice. Oh, that's Maybe what I meant. Maybe one day, you'll forgive me. That's my bad, man. See how easy that was? Now, head back to the field. 
You've got a job to do, Susan. Oh, well, that's that's fucked up. Can I blow them all out? I, I really don't want to. But oh, that was some screw up. Wait, wait, wait. Damn, I can't touch it. So. What the? How did I get back here? Oh, the crowbar. I have the thing for it. Oh, it's gonna break my hand! I knew it! I knew it. As soon as I saw that angle of me trying to hit that button, I knew it was going to take my arm off. Oh, that was fucked up. 